Hello and happy birthday, Pisces. Yes, Pisces. We're in Pisces season. We have a new moon in your sign, Pisces. So hopefully you all are taking extra special care of yourselves, you know, um, during this new moon phase in Pisces. The ninth is the last day that we're in this cycle. We had a full moon in Virgo. Virgo is a very meticulous sign. So um, I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart including if Pisces is your MC or IC, which would make Virgo the opposite of that. But source is saying to you, you know, it's time for you to start meticulously looking at your life and start deciding what, who and what you want to plant seeds with, whether it's a new loca physical location, geographical location, whether it's new friendships, whether it's a new job, you know, but the main thing is not to overwhelm yourself by carrying other people's emotional baggage. And I know you all are the most compassionate sign, Pisces, and sometimes you do feel like those two fish swimming tied together, swimming in opposite directions, but please don't go into escapism trying to carry someone else's emotional baggage, including your own families, right? Some things that you can mark off in your um, digital calendar or your digital journal, the links are below in the description uh, for the digital calendar and digital journal, is that we have a lunar eclipse, a partial lunar eclipse, on the same day as the full moon for this cycle coming up, right, on March 25th, right? So that's all about letting go of, you know, at least starting the process of healing from ancestral family childhood traumas, okay? So do what you need to do to heal you and try not to carry other people's emotional baggage, no matter who they are. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. First card out of the deck, and I'm talking to you wherever Pisces is in your birth chart. I see somebody moving. I love it. Here we have the Two of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and also the Five of Pentacles. Yep. Two of Wands. See how this wand right here is back? You know, you're like, okay, you're leaving the past behind, and somebody has windows of opportunities coming your way that you can't even... It's like, okay, I can't even fit all the opportunities coming my way, whether it's new love relationship, whatever. But I see somebody packing light. Here we have the Ten of Wands here. We also have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody has a lot of ideas that you've been praying about all these ideas. Like, okay, gosh, I'm getting, you've been journaling, writing things down. Here we also have the Knight of Pentacles. You've been working hard on yourself. And um, and so, like I said, see so you definitely planting some seeds somewhere to start building your um, legacy. Your legacy, well, somebody has a very rich legacy, right? And then we also had the five of pentacles right here. So a source is saying, you know, you've been working really hard. Don't put too much time into thinking about, you know, staying where you are. Like come out of your comfort zone. This is where you're saying, I know that source is providing an opportunity for me to move forward. I know that source is moving me out of this job. I prayed about it. So this is not, I think, or I hope, or when is it going to happen? When, when, when? This is your time in this last quarter moon phase that you really should be relaxing. Because it's over, it's overlapping with the new moon phase. So you can feel agitated and nervous about what lies ahead, when, when, when. So it's just like, all you need to say is thank you that the prayer that I've been praying has been answered. It's already answered. I'm in total receiving mode of whatever. I'm total receiving mode of heal my healing. I'm receiving mode of messages that source is sending to you. And so congratulations in advance, Pisces, for wherever you're moving on to new love interest, getting married, you know, uh, new friendship circle, whatever it is you're, you've been praying for, congratulations in advance, right? Because I see you packing light, traveling light. You're not carrying other people's baggage with you. So here we have the Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands. Here we also have the Knight of Wands, the Judgment card, the Seven of Wands, and also the Ten of Wands. And so Wands energy again, Ace of Wands. So here, here's the, um, and then we also have the two of wands and also the seven of wands and the knight of wands and 10 of wands. Again, and we have the judgment card, right? So somebody is definitely getting away from other people's harsh judgment, family, harsh judgment, job, harsh judgment, friendship, harsh judgment. Somebody may say, you know what? It's time for me. I've been traveling the globe. And this is how, this is how people start their relocation process too, Pisces. So I don't know who I'm talking about or who I'm talking to. This is how people leave jobs. This is how people leave friendships and leave such and such. When you're in spaces where you feel like you're being harshly judged or you feel like you're turning your nose up at somebody. And I know somebody's going to say, oh, that's not me. I don't turn my nose up at people. But let's be realistic. Everybody has done it. 
If you're in spaces that you feel like you've outgrown and you feel like, okay, the energy in here, the vibration through, you know, just the, the toxicity in here, you may have turned your nose up and been judgmental at some point, but source is saying, I feel like wherever you're, you're moving on to, whether it's a new job, a new geographical, whatever geographical location, new friendship, it, the energies are warmer. That's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, this, this color yellow right here, this color red right here connects us with the root chakra. Somebody is like planting seeds and uprooting from something, right? And saying, okay, I'm planting seeds in a space where I feel like I can do this, right? So here we have the two of uh, wands again. I feel like some energies are moving towards you. Whoever you're going to be building legacy with, their energy is moving towards you. So as you're praying for them, they are praying for you as well. Here we also have the seven of wands here. So this is where you want to be able to defend your decision not to go back into wilderness situations without coming across as defensive because I see um, um, seven and two is nine, right? So you're not going back into wilderness situation plus ace is 10. So I'm seeing booked and busy, booked and busy, and then boom again, booked and busy, right? So you could be taking a family member. Okay. So I feel like somebody could be taking a family member with them and then, um, and, um, or, or like I said, or not taking a family member with you right away, because here we have the knight of wands. And so, Here's the thing about this, so because we're talking about family, right? So you could be taking a family with you, member with you, where you all both feel like you're being harshly judged from where you are, and you just need desire to be around warmer spirits, right? That could be one, or you could decide you're moving on by yourself and saying, you know, I need to move on from my job, I need to move on from these friendships, I don't need to ask anybody else how I should do it. I'm just moving on from that, right? I'm moving on from staying in spaces where I feel like I feel burned out. I feel stressed. I feel like it's time. You know when it's time. You almost feel like, okay, it's a slow burn. I know something is coming to an end inevitably. You know, like, have you ever been in friendships where you're just like, we just don't, we used to get on the phone and, and cackle all night long, but now it's just like, it's just, we struggling to find things to talk about. And this could be a strictly platonic friend, even family members, right? Could feel like, okay, well, what do we do? How come Pisces doesn't talk to us anymore? It's just out of, after a while, you just feel your water, your water sign is evaporated. It can feel overwhelming just to be around certain types of energies. So source is saying the energies that you're getting away from are energies who have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior. So they just sit around, they just listen to gossip about people and they just spread the rumors. Well, I heard such and such. This will take the focus off of themselves or the ones who are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. Somebody is saying, I just need to be around from those people those because it's a poor reflection on you so i'm seeing you know like i said um it's two like i said two types of energies you're decided to move on from and when you're talking about you know um pentacles we're talking about like i said somebody it you know like i said somebody decided hey i'm, I'm tired of the emotional wounding i've been working so hard to get to my vault door which is the next phase of your life and I have all of these streams of income that I have, you know, and I'm trying to plant seeds somewhere else. When I think about where I planted seeds and there wasn't a whole lot of growth, I've been working hard. So if I feel like there's energies that keep me in a state of confusion or I feel burned out or I feel like, you know, um, any kind of confusion, you know, like confusion could cause a person to sit right in front of their vault door and not even realize how close they are. They have the key to them, right? Just a confusion. Somebody's like, I'm just tired of the confusion. I'm just tired of the chaos. I'm tired of people being in survival mode. I don't want to be connected to that. I just need a calmer, you know, possibly a calmer lifestyle, you know, from somebody away from the harsh judgment of people, right? And and you'll know when you start going to family functions and you realize, man, all they do is sit around and just talk negatively about people or in your work environment, you'll know. All they do is sit around and just talk negative. Where's the positivity? All they do is prey on people's perceived weaknesses instead of praying for them. That's when you'll start to say, yeah, you know what? That's where now you start to understand why you're known for your compassion. They may say, oh, you know, you're just super sensitive, Pisces, when they're being insensitive. So I definitely see some major changes happening here for you, Pisces, because it's like, I just don't want to be around insensitive people anymore. I just don't. And it's starting with your own family. The Wheel of Fortune came out twice. Somebody's going to feel fortunate both in your personal and your professional life. So congratulations to you for that. Wheel of Fortune came out twice, right? Fortune. Fortunate. Somebody's going to feel very, very fortunate. 
that you're leaving behind a lot of judgmental and there's a there's just an open road source is saying hey you don't have any obstacles in your way it's just a clear path for you to get to so anything that you feel like somebody was trying to burn you or burn your reputation you've already made a decision somebody made a decision a long time ago here we have the ace of wands here um, and so that brings you back to the 10 of wands. Here's the thing. All it takes is for one person to say, I'm getting away from all of this, right? And they start to miss your presence, right? So let me give somebody an example of what I'm talking about since we're talking about family first and foremost, and you not aligning with other people's families that's like this. Somebody decided to leave the circus, the circus to say, I'm, I'm just leaving all that mess behind. Okay. Let's say, for instance, in your family, you know, it's you and your cousin, y'all like this, to I mean, like tight as, you know, like like two little peas in a pod. And you decide, you know what, whenever I start going around, and you y'all on the phone talking, whenever we go around family, it's just always a bunch of gossip. All they do is sit around and talk about people, just negative, you know, laughing at people, this kind of stuff. It just got, after a while, it gets to be old and tired, right? So let's say you and your cousin are talking and so your cousin says, yeah, but it's not that bad. It's family, it's family, you know, because they could be a totally different sign. But for you, they, they may even say to you, oh, don't you think you've been a little sensitive? I mean, it's not even that deep. That's just how they, you know, that's just how they are. We've been around them the whole life. All of this for you, you may just be tired and just say, Hey, yeah, but I'm not going around anymore. Cause I, I actually feel bad when I leave their presence. I just feel like I feel burned out. I feel enraged. I feel like I have a temper. I feel like all of this, right. Speaking of will of fortune, which connects us to, um, Jupiter, which is one of your ruling planets, but it connects us to Jupiter, but also Jupiter also is uh, rules Sagittarius, which is a temperance card. You're like when I'm around certain energies, I feel like I'm always heightened. I feel like I have a temper. I just feel like I feel like I don't have clarity. Like I don't know what what's going on. I feel like I'm always in being pulled into wolf situations where it's a survival mode. And so somebody says, source is saying you're gonna feel like a teenager again when you get around or getting away from those types of energies. But guess what? There's somebody who wants to call you back into a situation that you prayed to get out of, right? So yeah, some people are start. So listen along that same story. You're that same cousin. You know, you stopped going to family functions, and that cousin, like everybody, was asking me about you and how, and I didn't know what to tell them. I didn't want to say you don't want to come be around that negativity. You like, yeah, well, I don't. I don't. And so eventually they're talking about you. They keep asking the cousin over and over and over again, where's Pisces? Where's Pisces? Where's Pisces? And then they realize, okay, I guess Pisces don't mess with us like that anymore. They would be right, right? Because you moved on. They, they started to hear, oh, Pisces started a business. Pisces did this. Pisces, you moved from an apartment and purchased a house. Pisces did this and that, right? And so the same energies that you sat around and talk and listen to them talk about everybody else for years, this going it's going that same cousin that's still going around them now feels compelled to tell them the good news that's happening and you're like, oh, I think they they too good. They had a housewarming and didn't even invite us. Oh, then they start talking negatively. Eventually your cousin is gonna figure out, oh shoot, exactly what you told them, Pisces. So you don't have to you don't have to overwhelm yourself by carrying other people's emotional burdens because they don't see it right now, Pisces. All you need to do is move forward and watch. Eventually, they're going to they gonna follow suit. I need to get away from these people because I, I feel like there's, there's always some arguing. There's something going on. I just don't want to be around them. Same thing with your job. Same thing with the... So somebody usually stays in spaces into a point of burnout. So it's like stop going along with that burnout flow where your creativity is affected as a water sign, Right. So let's see what else we got going on. Yep, your wishes are being fulfilled, right? And somebody knows that their wishes are being fulfilled. That's why I said to you, the fool card came out twice. This one out here came out with the clown mask on. Somebody says, I'm tired of the circus. I'm, I'm tired of, in, the pers in your personal and your professional life, somebody's like, I'm tired of just being in circus behavior, right? And so I feel like um, here we have the judgment card. And so there's definitely some judgment that's coming down on some energies. Like I said, you're going to feel very lucky. You're going to feel very fortunate because here's your high priestess energy right here, right? That's what makes somebody a star is saying, you know what? I know when it's time for me, when I'm in spaces where it's time for me to close out cycles because I, I'm a star in my own right, meaning that you have a purpose. That's when, when I say star, I'm not talking about some celebrity. I'm talking about your, everybody's a, everybody has purpose. Everything on this planet has a purpose. I have purpose in my life. And that's what I'm focusing on that. So I feel like as a high priestess energy, 
and we talk about the moon move from Aquarius into Pisces before it was in a period. That's where you said, okay, I need to break away from the everyday thing. And I need every day that's what's going on around me. And I need to start focusing on my high priestess energy, um, being in prayer mode, you know, being in meditation mode, quiet mode and receiving mode of downloads and messages that's coming through because source is saying, I'm going to give you everything that you prayed for in terms of like what you wrote down on a sheet of paper if you say, hey, I want a new house or I want to build a family with people, I want to make a difference in my community and the world at large. You're talking about humanitarian stuff, right? So it's the same. So when you're sitting around wondering when it's going to happen, all you need to know is that it's already in motion. Sources like it's already in motion. You're wondering when it's going to happen instead of saying, God, I know it's already happening. I may not know how it's going to happen, but I know it's going to happen. I know I'm going to have that new house, that new job. I know that I'm going to meet my person. I know that I'm going to meet my soul community. I already know that. I know that I'm making a difference in my community. So it's not, it's not a win, win, win as in looking at your watch is I know it's happening. And so source is saying, that's the spirit. That is the spirit. I know that's the spirit, right? So yeah, you've definitely been judged by a lot of people, but you're going to feel very fortunate to break away from those types of energies because now you're helping other people to do the same thing. Like you have options. You don't have like the longest line with along the line of you and a cousin. And remember, this is just an example. So it may not be you and your cousin. Okay. Put it wherever it needs to go in your life. It could be you and your favorite buddy at work, you know, that you're like, yeah, I need to leave this job. It's not, it just doesn't serve my highest purpose anymore. Everybody's trying to drag each other down and this kind of stuff. So you're getting away from a lot of things is my point. And your wishes are being fulfilled. So here we have the full card came out three times. Here we also have the strength card. Here we have the justice card, the empress card, the um, seven of cups, and then also the queen of pentacles. And when I say the justice card, it's exactly what I was talking about, carrying other people's emotional burdens of thinking that you're harshly judging them and you're not harshly judging anybody. You're just tapping into your strength, remaining positive, knowing that you're caring, that you live a great life that you spoke into existence. You prayed for this life, that you're very creative, very, uh, very passionate, warm hearted. You're cheerful. You're humorous, right? People hold you in very high regard. So sources saying you're down to earth, you're relatable. And so you just, like I said before, snip, snip, you're cutting ties. You're like, I'm not holding on to other people's emotional baggage at all. I'm just not, you're not, you're not holding on to people's emotional baggage. Here we had the full car came out three times. Somebody feels changed, liberated and free from a whole lot of stuff, right? Like I said, slow burn. Sometimes people don't realize that you've already left, you've already gone Pisces until people look up and realize, okay, that's right. You know, like when you've left a job, you quietly left, you didn't, you didn't kick up any dust. You ain't complain about anybody. You ain't go to HR or anybody. You just woke up one day and said, I'm tired of the circus. It's time for me to quietly just leave. That's how somebody is fading to learning how to fade out of people's lives. It's like, I don't need to make a grand exit. This, I'm not an air, you're not an airplane. You're not an airport. I don't need to announce my departure. I feel like somebody's like, you know what? And if I'm going to stay my compassionate self, I'm a very warm hearted spirit, but when I, I pray for people, but if I feel like I'm in predatory energy around people who prey on other people's weaknesses, I'm going to silently just move on out of people's lives. See, we have the seven of cups. Somebody is trying to come back around to offer you something that could be very tempting for you. But source is saying to you, you've had a Kundalini experience, right? It doesn't matter what people are coming back with. They could come back with, oh, I was going through so much stuff right now. And I, and I just kind of shut down and I, I, I need to do a better job at handling such and such and such and such. It doesn't matter. You've already moved on. It doesn't even really matter. Four and seven is 11, right? 11 means that emotionally you've gotten off the fence. You're no longer on the fence emotionally about something. And you've decided you deserve better. You deserve the best. You deserve people who don't assume that you're harshly judging them. You don't assume, you know, so, uh, or that, that vice versa, they're harshly judging you. You've decided to turn off the water faucet when it comes to them and say, Hey, I deserve the best. I'm going, I'm putting my list of things together. And 11 symbolizes light L I G H T. So somebody says, I needed to turn a light on in myself. I'm closing out this cycle for this, um, this, this, this cycle that we're in right now. And I, when the new me, I've, I've already made a clear decision. I am not carrying other people's emotional baggage. So good for you, Pisces. 
Good for you. Good for you. Because I'm telling you, you're going to start, people going to start following suit. They're going to be like, man, Pisces didn't go off on anybody. Pisces didn't cuss anybody out. They nothing. They just cool, calm, and collected. Just moonwalk right on out of people's lives. Like, y'all, you can stay in the circus if you want to. I'm not interested in that. That's not even, I'm not even on that frequency anymore. That high priestess energy is very powerful. And the more you're around those types of energies, people are waiting for you to go off. They, because they've heard certain things about people of certain skin colors, people of certain genders, people who have grown up in certain kind of community, no matter what your skin color is. If they feel like you grew up in, you know, jungle situations that you got it in you to, you know how to control yourself. You're smart and wise enough to know when it's time to move on because you know what, you, what your purpose is and it could affect your purpose. Here we have, it's time to open your vault. There it is. They apologize for hurting you. So somebody definitely apologizes for hurting you. Um, their plan to disrupt your money has backfired much better lies ahead. It's time to release the burden and they're a succubus, right? So you could be dealing with a female, um, sex demon. So, you know, somebody who feels like they have an offer for you. They want to call you back into certain spaces. Here we have much better lies ahead. Source is saying, you don't, you don't deserve to be in a relationship. There's nothing obviously wrong with sex, Right. But there's something wrong with an energy who cannot control themselves. Like they, it's, it's, people think demons are so, because they, they feed off of confusion, right? They feed off of this art of confusion, right? So if you've ever been in a relationship with an energy that you feel like they're playing games with you emotionally, Pisces, you're, you're an emotional sign, water signs are emotional signs, um, and they may even try to come back with an apology of, you know, like, you know, I, I apologize for hurting you. But the thing is, is that you're not hurt. That's the thing. So the answer is still for you as a firm. No, you're not looking for somebody's apology. It's time to open your vault. And that's what source is trying to tell you is that it may cause some kind of emotional wounding because it's just like all of a sudden, like somebody put a fire out, like somebody just like put a fire out, like a fire was burning. And all of a sudden somebody came along and just douse the flames with an like a with a um what is it called the um extinguish they extinguish the flames and you just like had this kind of be left with just confusion like what the heck happened right that's a form of manipulating your emotions so for you it didn't really matter and but then they turn around and try to back try to mess up your money that plan backfired right um here we have it's time to release your burdens they're no longer a burden to you because you left the circus and so here we have their succubus. So if you've ever been in a situation where you feel like, man, you know, that energy is really, really strong. Like, you know, um, let's use along the lines of like, um, you, you being a, a, a very, um, compassionate sign. Let's say for instance, you have been in a really traumatic situation, right? And your personal life, and you meet a coworker who has decided to open up to you, and they've gone through the same trauma that you went through, right? We're not, I'm not trying to trigger anybody, so whatever trauma is for somebody. Um, and so now you want to leave the job. Now it's like, okay, yeah, I'm tired of being around these, these, you know, uh, it just is like a circus here. There's no organization. I just feel like, you know, people are trying to, it's like a ringmaster, you know, trying to, trying to, um, you know, like the ringmaster with the, with the wand or whatever. It's like, okay, trying to control all the animals and, you know, trying to, you know, get all, get everybody all riled up and everybody's mad at this employee and mad at that employee and mad at this and that. And they don't, they don't even know why they mad. And so while that colleague, you could say, you know what, once you come into the realization that this is not the healthiest environment for a person who has gone through that kind of trauma to stay in fight or flight mode, to be in self survival mode, you may say to your colleague, you know what, this is just not the best environment for me. You know, you may not even tell them that this is not the best environment for them, Pisces. You may say this is not the best environment for me because I've gone through enough trauma and this is just triggering for me. Just being here is triggering for me. If that colleague is not ready to leave, then you can't force them to leave. But the fact that you physically went and found another job and didn't belittle or harshly judge them, even when they try to find out stuff to judge you, they stood around and talked about, you know, listen to people talk harshly about you and such and such. Oh yeah, Pisces, they super sin. They break out and cry at the drop of a hat and we don't know what happened. And, you know, people like just you're quietly leaving their lives 
all of a sudden it inspires them to go get some healing and go get some help. So yeah, you're not harshly judging anybody because a lot of people like to think, oh, they judging me. So let me go find some information on them and judge them. And then when they go digging deep enough, they went, I didn't even realize Pisces went through all that trauma. Man, I, I feel bad. Like I thought I had gone through. But look at all what Pisces went through, right? That's how people, when they go digging and trying to look for something, they find that kind of stuff. And then now they feel bad. But by that time, you're already gone. You're already gone, Pisces. So hopefully this has been helpful, you know, for somebody because you're definitely embarking on a brand new journey. That's going to be a very powerful one for you. So kudos and congratulations to you, Pisces, for choosing you for real. Kudos and congratulations for choosing you. A lot of people, a lot of your adult kids don't know what kind of trauma you all have gone through. A lot of your siblings don't know what kind of trauma you've gone through. A lot of your exes don't know what kind of trauma you've gone through. So when you make a firm decision to move beyond something that's healing for you, then sources are saying, don't look back. Divine love. There it is. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. There's a lot of people that did not think that you were going to rise out of the ashes. People thought that they was going, somebody was going to just zombify you out, just stress and burn you out. So with somebody who wants to call you Pisces, they really want to, they really want to kind of get you back into that. Like, no, I, you know, I understand now what you've gone through because they went and done background checks and all this other mess. And I really want you source to say, uh, don't go backwards because again, you would be jeopardizing your own physical and mental health. That could cause a person to have a complete and nervous breakdown. So here we have rooted, right? So I definitely see somebody planting some roots, you know, somewhere and just getting rooted and grounded somewhere again, away from energies that have succumbed to passive and powerless behavior and also energies that are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. Because if you were to go back into uh, uh, circus situations, guess what? That very energy that pulled you back in would now, you would have just transferred your toxic, uh, your, um, your emotional baggage to them, expecting for them to hold, okay, I'm going to stay around a little longer just because you asked me to. I don't really want to be here. And they got to constantly talk you into staying. So it's just like, no, you're making this decision on your own. You're getting away from, you know, situ these kind of situations. You're just getting away from it. So I, I can't even say kudos and congratulations enough because you definitely deserve to um, be in spaces where you don't feel like you always having to constantly defend yourself emotionally and people calling you crazy and that kind of stuff. So I definitely see you getting away from, you know, those types of energies. Yeah. Yep, ribbons. For it lives in the in the truth of my binding, the knots in my truth, the eye of becoming, the witness swallowed in stillness. Yep. So yeah, so I feel like, you know, something has definitely been kind of sort of swallowing someone up. You were born to inspire. But sometimes when you're on the dark side of the number three, you're so busy that you miss key signs, right? You're just like, I, if I stay on this job, I got to, I'm just going to keep busy. I'm trying to, you know, you miss everything else. That source wants you to, sources, I'm giving you a way out of something. Something you prayed for, I'm giving you a way out. So take it. Don't, don't be lured back in by somebody saying, oh, I, I, you know, I, I watch out for you. I didn't notice things before, but I, and they got their life. You're not, mm -mm. You're not expecting for somebody to watch that. I have the power to change my life for the better. And that's exactly what you're doing unapologetically. You're not waiting for anybody's approval or for somebody to lure you back into anything, right? So it definitely is starting your own right, Pisces. So take advantage of it. Here we have, I was created for a purpose, period. Great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. Yeah. I am enough. Yep. That's what I have for you because even that person that's bringing you back, that's doing background checks and trying to find out what happened and listening to everybody else's harsh judgment of you, they feel like now we're equalized. So if, if Pisces starts to try to judge me for anything, I can pull up something that I heard about Pisces and use it against them. It's just a lose-lose situation for you to stay what you prayed to God to get out of. So that's what I see for you, Pisces. I will see you all in the next reading. Here are your questions for the moon in Pisces so that you don't get overwhelmed emotionally. First question is, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of defense? 
uh, the walls of protection, excuse me, and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love. Let me say that again for those of you all journaling. Could you, could you keep opening up and breaking through the walls of protection and defense to heal your deepest wounds with love? The second question is, could you immerse yourself in gentleness and compassion in order to receive and channel true love? The third question is, could you become more connected to the universal unconditional love? Fourth question is, can you create healthy boundaries so that you don't take on others' energy? And then last but not least, Pisces is, do you clean and replenish your energy daily? And that would be listening to water sounds, juice fast, those kind of things, um, drinking more water, those kind of things, being near water, just a vibrational sound of water when you're talking about cleansing and cleaning things out. So I definitely feel like somebody's going to feel very fortunate and some energies want to come back around and they, you know, feel like they are, they, you know, they got some good news for you that's going to inspire you and motivate you to stay connected to them. And I got some, I, you know, they got to be the fire in your life. So it's like, you already came to a point where you, you said, I've already burned out about two types of situations and I'm not going backwards. So they can't relight a flame because God has already given you the flame to move forward. If that makes any sense to somebody. So a human cannot inspire you to go back into something that God gets you out of because God has given you the steam that you need to continue moving forward. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I will see you all in the next reading. Bye.